Hello guys and welcome in this new video tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna show you a simple example of how you can set up Webpack with React.js framework from scratch and without using the command line create react app. If you guys don't have any idea about what is Webpack, Webpack is a module handler, a build tool that puts all of your assets including JavaScript, images, fonts and CSS files into a dependency graph. In a simple way, Webpack allows you to package all your dependencies into bundles that will be understood by the browser. So let's get started and set up our Webpack with React.js. First, open your working space. For me, I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. You can use Sublime or Atom. Just use whatever you feel comfortable with. Then, go to the terminal and let's create our working folder. Let's make directory, give it the name as LBP, Webpack, React, hit enter, navigate into the directory, clear the console, then let's initialize our package.json file. Yeah, to use Webpack and React, you should have npm and node.js already installed in your machine. If not, please make sure that you install them. So let's initialize our package, npm init, and hit enter. Pack a default version also description we can we can make something like web pack with react gs example then on enter 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 art in lbp yes and yes that's it that's it for now let's navigate to the folder open the folder this is our folder click enter this is our package.json then let's add some other folders and file first folder is our public folder inside we're gonna add an index.html file and we also need an src folder Inside we need the entry, it's our index.js file and we also need a components folder with an app.js file. I think, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all what we need for now. Now let's jump to our webpack configuration. Before that, we need to go to our terminal and add some packages first packages that we need it's install some packages it's npm install our react and react dom dash 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 save hit enter it's gonna take some time based on your internet connection here we done let's add some other packages we need also our in our dev dependencies Let's add our Babel core, Babel loader, Babel dash preset dash env environments for environment, Babel dash preset dash react, also Babel only file and web tag. Webpack CLI Webpack Dev Server. All these packages are gonna be in our dev dependencies. So dash save dash dev and hit enter. This is gonna also take time based on your internet connection. So I'm gonna get back once it's done. So here we are. These is are all our packages that we have installed so the second step that we need to do is jump to create our snor folder it's our webpack.config.js it's our config sorry it's config.js file and here we're gonna write some code first let's declare a path variable const patch call require require our path from our node.js modules then module exports a json object 
first is the entry it's our src index gs also our output it's also a json object with path equal to path variable dot resolve our underscore your name value our comma our list and the file file name equal to our bundle gs i think that's it for the entry then let's jump to the module it's also a json object with the rules it's an array json object this loader it's our it's our babel babel loader file test files we're gonna do test for all files that end all files that end with .gs and with .gs and we're gonna exclude all files that are in node underscore modules that's it yeah that's it for the module then let's jump to our dev dev server server it's also a json object with the port 3000 content base is our public folder and inline make it to true yeah i think that's it for our webpack configuration file so now let's jump to our html some html html file we need what am i going we need a div a div here with, with id root that's it and we also need a script script with the src of the bundle gs yeah i think that's it for our index.html so let's jump actually let's close this anymore let's jump to our index.js and here we're gonna add some we're gonna import react from react and import our react dom from react dom and also import our app from components app let's render call the render method react dom render metal for the app in the document get element by id of the root id yeah that's it for the index.js we'll close the file and let's jump to our app components let's import our react and our component react and our component all from react let's create our class it's, it's class app stands our components and export the module export the class as default or default the app and call the render at the render method render memo render function return and here we're gonna just make some div close the div and add some text here you can do hello from react webpack I think that's it for the app.js what else were we need else to do uh, yeah we need to fix something 
held in here. Actually, let's remove the test. We don't need the test. Replace it with the start. If we call the start option with tag the server. Yeah, that's it. And we also need to add some people here. JSON object presets an array called env for environment and our react come here. I think that's all what we need to do. So let's see what read the result here first and let's start npm start and enter this is our web pack dev server here it's running so let's open our actually let's open our navigator jump to pro here let's jump to localhost 3000 enter Sorry, no worries. It's localhost. It's not it's like that. Enter. Here we are. So, hello from React and Webpack. So, now if we jump back to our Webpack and to our app, just let's make some changes here. Hello from React and it's safe. If you see here, our code is compiling so if we go back to our navigator we're gonna see that it's reload itself we don't even need to reload our page we're back to care of uh, take care of everything for us uh, and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope to see you in some other tutorials please feel free if you have any question or comments feel free to ask and we will replay as soon as we can thanks for watching and see you soon in other videos